Good morning, another beautiful day in God's kingdom. You know, sometimes you go through life and you have certain limitations, you know, that kind of life has set uh, set for you in a sense, maybe your background and failures and things that you had, um, you know, that make you think, you know what, I I'll just resign myself to fate. This is where I find myself or what can I do about it? But let's find um, something interesting about this character that we're going to be looking at for the next few chats. And we are in the book of Luke. And we're in the book of Luke, Luke chapter 19, and let's see what the Bible says from verse 1. It says, Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him because Jesus was coming that way. And when Jesus reached the spot, Jesus looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So Zacchaeus came down at once and welcomed Jesus gladly. And all the people saw this and began to mutter, he has gone to be the guest of a sinner. Let's stop there for now and let's examine a few things today. So what do we find? You see, Zacchaeus, the Bible says, had a number of things that were already stacked against him. First, the Bible says that he was a tax collector. <laughs> and so he was hated by the people because as a tax collector who was working with the Romans, collecting taxes from the people, you know, and nobody likes to pay taxes. I think even till today, uh, people have issues with taxes and tax collectors, but that's the story for another day, I guess. So what is it that we find next? So strike one, that was it. He was a tax collector. Secondly, the Bible says he was short. You know, he was physically limited and there was no point. There was no point him even trying to make his way through the crowd because once the people saw him, they probably would even block, um, you know, his path deliberately. So he knew that there was no point. He was short, the Bible says. So strike two. And then thirdly, the Bible says the people said he was a sinner. So he had these three things you know, already stacked against him. But we find something about Zacchaeus that is quite interesting. He was tenacious. You see, I would say that, you know, he looked at life as a person and said, okay, yeah, I'm going to be a tax collector and I'm going to get abused and all of that along the way. So you know what? I'm going to make myself rich in the process anyway. Uh, yep, yeah, uh, that is what I can do or that is, you know, the ability that I have. I am going to make the best of it. So he takes a bad situation, if you want to put it that way, and makes it um, work for him. The tax collector, he becomes rich, he becomes wealthy. And then he looks at the situation that's before him. He looks at the crowd and says, there's no way I'm going to be able to see Jesus. I'm short, um, but I'm not going to let that stop me. I am not going to let that stop me. So he says, looks around, looks and says, yep, there's a tree there. I can climb that tree, you know, but at this point, you know, looking at who Zacchaeus is, as the Bible describes him, I'm sure he was not necessarily um, in his twenties, you know, he, he, he was probably not in his twenties. He was probably not a teenager. And this is a grown man running. <laughs> can you imagine to go and climb a tree? I don't know the last time I ever tried climbing a tree. I, I can tell you, it was probably, definitely not even in my, um, you know, anyway, forget it. So he goes and he climbs this tree. Doesn't bother about the fact that he's a certain age or whatever. Doesn't care what people think about him. He wants to see Jesus and he's going to do whatever it takes, you know, to, to get that, um, to get that accomplished. And of course, he is rewarded for it. To his shock and his amazement, Jesus gets to the point where he's at, gets to that tree and says, hey, I can see you. Come down. I am coming to your house. You see, sometimes where we find, when we find ourselves with limitations, whether they're limitations that society has set for us or they're limitations that we have set for ourselves or that our backgrounds or the economy or whatever it is, whatever those limitations are, are you know, God loves a person who would even try. You know, we love the person who would even try. That's why he goes through the book of Proverbs and he says, hey, go and look at the ants. You know, God always rewards, you know, that level, that person who is tenacious, who who is determined, that person who says, you know what, I'm not going to give up just because something has been set before me. And so as we go through this week, you know, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you and I encourage myself. Whatever those limitations are that are stacked before you, you know what, climb over them. You know, like somebody says, make those obstacles stepping stones, climb over that mountain, at least push forward, push, 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 and God will come through for you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a beautiful, amazing day.